I have three of the most wanted cardigans from Cezanne, which is the Berry Cardigan, and this is a style that was just recently re-released. It's very similar to the Gaspard cardigan, which you may be familiar with because it's one of Cezanne's essential pieces. So I'm going to compare the two styles and share with you the differences and also share my thoughts on which one I love the most. So by the way, my name is Monica. I love sharing my favorite fashion brands here on my channel. I'm also a fashion designer myself and I'm launching my first designer label collection in the next month or so so of course i have to share with you the exciting news so if you want to see behind the scenes of how i went about designing this and the entire behind the scenes process all the ups and downs for the past three years i do share that over on my instagram at monica rose sf and also of course if you would like to be one of my first customers you can also find out where you can purchase the jumpsuits did i mention that it is tailored jumpsuits in sizes extra small to 3xl and i am so proud of it so thank you so much and let's talk about some cardigans <laughs> Here are the three different colors that I have in the berry. So this is the gray, the beige, and the black. There's also a blue style, a blue color as well. It's a little bit darker than this one. And the reason why I didn't get the blue is because, because of the simple silhouette and that particular blue color, it actually reminds me of a time when I used to work at the bank many, many years ago, and that was my uniform, a blue, simple cardigan and plus I already own <laughs> this one so it's a lot different but but yes this is also from Cezanne so I went with the neutral colors which is actually not like me I love colorful clothing um but neutrals you you can't go wrong with the neutrals so I'm going to first talk about the berry cardigan itself and then we'll talk about the differences between the berry and the Gaspard so with this gray one here this is a v-neck cardigan and well I guess I can tell you some differences first things first the difference between this one and the Gaspard is the neckline this is I would consider a deeper v neckline and the buttons so these buttons with the berry they are the exact same color of the cardigan so the gray has gray buttons which are beautiful by the way it has a gold trim and it's a half round button so lovely lovely detail and the black cardigan has black buttons and the beige cardigan has beige buttons which i'll show you up close with those as well so that is one difference are the buttons and the neckline now the fabric composition is the same uh, i already double checked it's the same with the gaspard and let me read that to you it's 37% super kid mohair, which you're gonna have a slight itch with any type of mohair, but it is blended with 27, excuse me, 37% baby alpaca and 26% polyamide. As far as a silhouette, I would consider this something in between a straight line silhouette, not necessarily a full on box style silhouette because you have that v-neck but also not necessarily a bat wing I feel like it's simply it's something in between there and with the back it does come a little bit lower as well now you can wear these both ways you can wear the cardigan both ways you can wear the buttons in the front as well as the as the buttons in the back which I think is beautiful when you have that v-neck and I love that style um, when you have that v-neck in the back and that's why you'll see that the tag here is to the side so that if you are wearing it here you're not going to have that tag right poking out in in the front and some of our cardigans actually have the tag on the button open area I think I, I think I prefer it here on the solid background part of it so with that said let me show you the other colors so here is the beige color and like I mentioned the buttons are the same color as the cardigan so this beautiful beautiful soft it's like a such a silky color beige with that gold 
trim detail on the button itself. Um, again, you can wear it front and back, the different look as well. And as far as the sleeve, it is a straight line sleeve. There's not really any cuffing here at the, the cuff. It doesn't cinch in like this cardigan does. It's just a simple flat line style um, detail there in the sleeves. Now, by the way, I only have it on the hanger <laughs> to show you here for the video, but I would re definitely recommend folding your your cardigan so that they don't stretch. You don't want to hang them on the hanger. So here is the black and I love this one. I love how, again, the buttons are black, but you can really actually see that gold peeking through. I think it's just a beautiful detail for something that could be just simple. This is something that's basic, part of your capsule wardrobe, just an all around timeless type of style. But having that tiny little detail with the, the gold buttons is why I'm really drawn towards this. And I think a V-neck cardigan, when you have it all the way buttoned up and you have that V-neck a little bit low, there's something so chic and just beautiful about that style. So with the three, I love all three, but I think I would keep the gray. Which one do you prefer from the three colors? I would love to know. And here are the three Gaspards that I already have in my closet. I have a navy, the lavender, and the pink. Side note, navy is what I wear most often. This is just my go-to. I love navy. I'm actually wearing navy trousers, and I love a tonal look. Blue is one of my favorite colors to wear, so this definitely gets the most wear out of my out of my three. But this color is my favorite. It's the it's the lilac or lavender. It's just something so unique. It stands out and it's just a beautiful color. And of course, you have to love a blush pink, a blush pink sweater. Now, I'll take you in with these buttons and I do want to mention that these Gaspards are different from what they offer now with their most recent Gaspards because of the buttons are different. These are a little bit of a more round shape as far as that pearl-esque style button, whereas now the buttons are still this similar pearl style, but it's more of a flat button. So keep that in mind if you are uh, if you are looking to get a Gaspard. So let me go ahead and just compare the two. So here's the Greg Berry and the Navy Gaspard. When I first tried this on, I felt like it was a bit thinner than what I'm used to with the Gaspard. Though the composition is the same, the weight of the fabric just felt a little bit light. That could just be me, but that was my first impression when I, when I tried it on. And with the sizing, so I am typically an extra small in most of Cezanne's knitwear. And I'm an extra small in the Gaspard and it still gives me a little room. Now, I went ahead and got extra small in the beige and the black, but I got a size small, which would be considered up a size for me in the gray. And I actually prefer how the size small fits me, so going up a size in the berry cardigan. Now, that being said, the size extra small still gives me some room, so I feel like the berry runs slightly smaller. So if you want a more oversized look or something that's not as fitted, I would recommend going up a size in the berry. And I think because with the v-neck style, I actually love a more oversized look and I would actually consider going up another size to just get that more oversized look with that v-neck here. I do like a more fitted look with the crew neck style Gaspard. So let me talk to you about this silhouette and the, and the differences. So clearly here, it's more of a crew neck. It's actually not too high up, but there's a scoop here at the neckline. So you're going to have the same sleeves. And what I've worn, when I've worn this over the years, I have found that the sleeves do stretch. So I'm thinking it's going to be the same with this uh, berry cardigan as well. So if you've ever owned the berry cardigan many years ago when they had it as one of their everyday pieces on their website. Let me know if you have the new berry now and if there's any differences because I've never owned one. And by the way, I do, the first time I've ever heard of the berry was 
during their archive sale maybe a year or so ago they were selling those on a discount and that's when i thought that they were just going to be completely discontinued because they were on a sale price and i was not lucky enough to get one at the sale price but now that they have it back on their regular rotation i think they are um now that it's back and at a at a regular price point i would love to know if there's any differences in the two berries so if you are if you have any experience with that i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section now again with the gaspard it's going to be that same similar straight line box line style but i feel like this one's a little bit more wide like i mentioned now which one do i prefer and which one i would recommend i my first impression i haven't had a chance to wear the berry out and about yet or style it but my first impression is I love the Gaspard. I like the thickness of it. I love the silhouette. And I love that you can still unbutton the Gaspard if you wanted a, a kind of v-neck style. You can still get that look with the Gaspard. I feel like it's also, there's a little bit more room in the sizing. And I just like the fit of it as well. Now that being said, I love this gray color. And I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that there is a Gaspard in this charcoal gray color. So this is my favorite, like I mentioned, from the three, and I don't own a gray cardigan. So I think this is the one I wanna keep. I like the size, uh, going up a size, the size small in this one. Now I also love the black, and I don't have a v-neck black sweater, but I think I would prefer getting a 100% cashmere black sweater. Again, this has a, a mix of different, it has mohair and alpaca and polyamide. And with the black uh, sweater, something that is a staple piece, finding one that is 100% cashmere is something I would prefer because you do get that slight itch with it. Now, I wear under shirts under all of my knitwear just to again keep the longevity of of the item um, but also to help with any of that if you have sensitive skin so i'm wearing a, a v-neck um, under layer here which is going to be perfect for your for your v-neck i will link all of these in the description as well as my under layer if you're looking for one that's going to work with the berry. Okay, I think I covered everything I wanted to share with you when it comes to the re-release of the berry cardigan and the comparison with the Gaspard. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know in the comments below if which one's your favorite. If you're planning on getting one of the cardigans, I would love to know your thoughts. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.